Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you in depth how the new tier list system is going to work. This will help you understand how VPNs are rated, so that way you understand the objective, kind of transparent nature of the new system going forward. This is going to be an extremely detailed point by point system, but at the same time, remain simple enough to not waste your time watching a one hour view of each VPN. So guys, let's go ahead and jump right into the system itself. I've made a little spreadsheet here to show you guys how it works. So guys, I've made myself kind of small down there. I might make this bigger. So as you can see here, guys, this is the new system. We have pricing, application, speeds. The privacy audit is now part of the tier list system. One of the biggest changes, customer support and streaming. So the way the system works now is that it's more based on being able to be held accountable for point by point and making it easy for you to guys to understand where VPNs do well and where they don't do well. So for the pricing, it is now expanded for each one of those things I'm looking for to be more clear. So we're going to take into account if the VPN's price can fit within a certain range that I think is affordable for each different category. So I think for one month, six to ten dollars is a good price. Six months, 20, 20, six months, 20 to 30 dollars, one year and so on. So certain VPNs that are more expensive than that aren't going to be able to get the points there. Not only that, but we also have things like a 30 day refund policy we're going to be looking for. No timers or kind of exclusive sales on the website, um, as well as no price increases after the first term subscription of whatever that may be. Next up, we have the application, which is going to be pretty similar to as it was before. And each one of these things is going to get one point. So we have stuff like observation, looking for a Linux GUI, DNS controls, split tunneling, kill switches, and stuff like that. Everything there is pretty standard. Not too much change, just more of a point by point system. Kind of inputting the application analysis section in here that we've been doing lately, but wasn't kind of in the formal review system before. I was just kind of looking at all those things and making up the score. Um, to match what the application analysis said and now it's just better laid out and point by point next up we have speeds and we're going to be implementing the speed test and torrent test five points for each one depending on how the vpn does after the speed test we also have the privacy audit which is the newest kind of implementation of being able to measure a vpn's reputation and privacy it's kind of a combination of reputation and the new privacy audit that i've been doing so this is um, a little bit of a more nuanced section with the point system. Um, if you guys hadn't been able to tell, each section is worth 10 points. And then um, it's kind of split up between the different categories. So this one with the privacy audit, I decided to make the history of data leaks and stuff like that three points instead of a oh, one point like the other thing, since I think it is the most important thing if a VPN has had a history of messing up their security, since it isn't a good thing. And a lot of people don't want to use a VPN that has messed up in the past. So we have that for three points and then the rest of the categories are going to be one point. Next up, we have customer support. We're going to have live chat. If they have live chat, they get five points. And then if they can manage to get a ticket response time under one hour, they also get uh, five points. So we're looking for fast, um, responsive customer support. Um, and that's how we're going to grade it. Lastly, we have the streaming compatibility section, and this is pretty similar as before. We're just adding HBO Max into the list. So we have five here for two points each. Um, a little bit more expansive there, but as as uh, 10 points as well. Finally, after all these things are taken into account, a final score is graded out of 60 and those VPNs will be placed on the tier list with the points that they have earned. So guys, we're going to be doing some of these VPNs here pretty soon and we're going to be putting them into this new system, filling it out and showing you it in the videos. So guys, stay tuned. I hope this makes sense. I hope you see why this is probably a better tier list system. Going forward, just having a little bit better of a layout here in terms of being able to keep track of things and keep things objective and transparent along the way. That way, anyone can see why I've rated a VPN a certain way and see that it's a fair rating. Anyways, guys, see you in the next VPN review here in this system very soon.